park out coming your way. For those of you I have not met yet, I'm Laurel. I'm hooking into my straps. I'm gonna go ahead and start our Instagram and we'll get going together. Cool. Uh, so, Steve, I like all the flags in the background. That's pretty um, great. It's actually uh, <laughs> Dr. Sato. This is That's awesome. Um, all right, grab your water, go ahead and start your cycle. And we're gonna build up today. We have an exciting Monday workout. We're gonna do one of the most challenging moves we've done to date in our workouts. Uh, and that's nothing to be intimidated by, just something exciting as we continue to grow stronger and progress together. So, starting with bands on arms, cycles are going. We're gonna start with some movement in our neck today. So as you do this, I want you to think about the muscles of your shoulders. Go ahead and make fists, pull the shoulders away from the ears. I'm on my knees, you can feel free to do this standing. And we're just gonna to start to move the head side to side without letting the shoulders move. So getting a nice stretch in the muscles of the neck. And Steve can actually give a little bit more background of this. Apparently there's a specific katsu workout that some people do just involving the neck muscles. So we're just doing a baby version of that, moving the head side to side. It's actually part of Cuts Beauty. There you go, that's it, Cuts Beauty. So here we go. <laughs> Good. Four more. Three, two, and one. And let's go ahead and move the head forwards and backwards. So moving through that range, keeping the shoulders stable. Good. And now last one we're gonna do here is some circles with the head. Um, keeping the shoulders pulled away from the ears, you're gonna tuck the chin into the chest, start to drop right ear to right shoulder, roll halfway back, and then come back through center. And so we're gonna go only that side, right ear to right shoulder, roll halfway back, and then come back through center. And we'll take two or three more. The bigger the circle you can make, the better. Working through that range of motion. Good, and then come back through center. Let's do the other side. So starting to drop left ear to left shoulder, move it back and come back through center. And over to the left and bring it back. Let's take three more. And two. And last one. Good, and last little warm up, opening up of the body. We're gonna do some shoulder stuff. Bring your arms up like a cactus or a scarecrow and just start to move the arms through opposing ranges of motion going up and down. And so we've done a slower version of this. This is a little bit quicker. Seeing each time, if you can squeeze out a little bit more range, keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders. And I hope everyone had a really nice weekend to all the moms. For those who know moms, have moms, everyone out there, I hope you had a nice Mother's Day weekend. Good, a few more. Good, last two, and one. Good, starting with the right arm, move it through the range of motion all the way back and around. And as we do this, I don't wanna let my body twist, so my shoulders stay squared off, and my arm does the movement. So I like to take my hand across the body to help keep things stable. And one more. And let's move into the left arm. Working through that range, noticing where the body twists, keeping the core and the glutes engaged to help provide more stability in your torso so you can get to that shoulder. And we'll take three more. And two. And last one. Wonderful. Okay. Let's start our strength exercises for the day. First up, we have what I call the forearm starfish. It's a forearm exercise. Getting my cycle going. And this is actually a great reminder to please restart your cycles. Uh, 
in between each exercise we do so it doesn't run out while we're moving. So I'm getting mine going now. There we go. All right, so my arms are slightly out in front of me. I wanna keep my wrists below my shoulders so that the blood can pool. So as soon as we do this, it's not really using the bands most effectively. So bring them slightly down and then up. I extend through my fist, and then I start to reach the fingertips out, make a starfish, come back into a fist. Find that reach of the fingertips, pull them back in. So we have two 40 second sets. First one we're gonna take slow in three, two, one. So bring it out and squeeze. Out and squeeze. And we start to feel the bands doing the work. Forearms are feeling that burn. Draw the shoulders down as you do it. No hunching up. Out and in. I want you to keep reaching your hands away from you the whole time you're doing this. And out and in. Cool. Half done. Good. Really extending through the fingertips. This is our slow version. Let's work through it. And we have 10 more seconds. And I got really excited when I wrote this workout for today, so it's going to be a hard one in the best way. Three, two, one. Now we're going to do the same thing, this time fast movement. So we'll start in three, two, one. 40 seconds. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Imagine as you extend your fingers out that you're making fireworks. Bam, bam, keep it quick. Yeah, there we go. Out, out. Keep it going. I'm gonna see who's on our video today. Keep going, half done. All right. Bonnie's here, of course. It wouldn't be a workout if Bonnie wasn't here. That just wouldn't happen. All right. A lot of familiar faces. Good, last 10 seconds. Firework explosions with those fingers. Out, out. Out, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Okay, so we've done the sideline tricep press before. We're gonna do that again today, but we're gonna add a bicep curl in halfway through. So you're gonna take it one side at a time. I'm gonna make my way down onto the side of my body. I take my left hand behind my head, and I press my right hand into the mat. And so for the first 40 seconds, we're gonna do just that. Press up, come back down. Press up and down. And then when we're done with that first 40 seconds, we're gonna press up. Take the left hand into the mat and then turn it into a bicep curl. In, in, and in, okay? So starting with the triceps, moving into the biceps. Left hand behind the head. Right hand roots into the mat. We press ourselves up as high as we can in three, two, let's go. And speed doesn't matter here. What I want you to focus on is how much can you straighten out that right arm, get your body up and off the floor. We go up and down, cool. And I like to spread the fingers of my right hand nice and wide. Helps take some of the pressure off my wrist. All right, you should already be feeling this in your triceps to some degree, up and down, half done. And we've got two sets per side, so we're going full burn. Yeah, last 10. Good. We're going to press up and hold in five, four, three, two. Press up, hold it. Take your left hand into the floor. Reach your right arm down, bicep curl. In, out, in, out. And because we're doing one side, I want you to really imagine you're holding like a 20 pound weight, emphasizing the movement. In and out. In and out. So this first half, this first 20 seconds, we're going to go slow. Then the second 20, we're going to pick up the pace. So in five, we're going to move fast. We have three, two, one. Get it. In and out, in and out. Fast, fast, fast. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There we go. Last 10. Woo! Pull the fist in towards the arm. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, one more set, same side. Come back down. Left hand behind the head. Right hand roots into the mat. 40 seconds, tricep press, and we move on. Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Whatever up looks like for you, as high as you can. Do your best. That's all we ever ask. Nice. Good. Woo. 
And these are specifically hard. I only struggle with these. My arms start shaking. Halfway done. Then we're going to press up and hold and work into the biceps. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two. Press yourself up. Take the left hand down. 40 seconds. Bicep curls. Right arm is still doing the work. Let's go. In, out, in, out. So for this set, you can pick your pace. If you want to go fast, go fast. Now make sure that left arm is working as well. Push the forward away from you. Pull, 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 pull. Good. There we go. Good. Last 10. In, in, and in. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Come on down. Let's switch sides. Over onto the back of the right arm. Hand behind the head for support, rooting the left hand into the floor. And where that hand in does, is doesn't really matter. As long as it's in front of you, and ideally it's above, the, like around the collarbones. Okay. Good reference point. So 40 seconds, working the left hand in three, two, let's go. We press up and down. Up and down. And you might notice that it's harder for you on one side than it is for the other, and that's completely normal. So what we really want to go for you here is just doing our best to straighten out that arm. Half done. Good. Nice. Woo. Good. Chris is on. We've got 10 more seconds. Nice, George. Awesome. Good. All the way straightening that arm. We're going to press up and hold in five, working into the bicep in three, two, and one. Press up. Rest your right hand into the floor. 40 seconds, bicep curls. Go. Go. So we're going to start this side slow. In and out. In and out. And I want you to think about how much you can contract your bicep against the band. So try and break it. The movement of the arm, not as important. Keeping the contraction is what we're going for. Building muscles. In and out. Good. Let's pick up the pace. In five, four, three, two. Now pulse. And pulse. Keep it fast. Muscle stays strong. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last set. Hand behind the head. Root your left hand into the mat. Tricep press up. Let's go. Up and down. Good. Feel those bands working. Also getting some oblique work in the sides of the body here as well. So let's get a, a two and one. Nice game. So good to see everyone on this Monday. Or maybe for some of you, it's already Tuesday, depending where Kyle is. Good last 10. All right, Liam, looks good. We have five, four, three, two. Press all the way up. Root your right hand down. Last set, bicep curls. In. In and in. Squeeze the muscle. Break that band. Good. Now you get to pick the pace for these ones. We are half done. Squeeze. Squeeze. Is your right arm working or is it sloppy? Press the floor away from you. Up. Up. Last 10. There we go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Pull. Shake out both the wrists. Good job, everybody. Two sessions of heart rate boost with our arm bands on. So first one, let's hop on up to stand. We are doing what I call happy feet and pause for lack of better name. We go one, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. So it's essentially just a run with the pause, but I like happy feet better. We're doing 30 seconds of that, 30 seconds of squat, touch, and, and jump. So it's a touch, up, touch, up. You can jump, or you can just rise, reach, and rise. Either way. Getting that hand low, pressing the hips back. 30 seconds of that. And then 30 seconds, we've done these before, ice skaters, we go side to side. Okay? So first 30 seconds, 
the happy feet pause. We're gonna start in three, two, one. We go one, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. Keep it up. Nice, guys. Good, keep going. Woo! Woo, I see hands on the head. Nice, Liam, good. Last 10, then we're gonna go to squat, reach, and jump. Yeah, we have five, four, three, two, 30 seconds, squat, reach, and jump, and go. Hips back, butts towards the floor, get as low as you can go. And there we go. And this can be a baby jump, or if you don't feel like jumping, you can step to add a little extra something in there. Otherwise, get off the floor. Last 10, then we're going right to ice skaters. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ice skaters, side to side, ready, set, go. After this, we're gonna take a sip of water and move on to our next exercise. It's Monday, we're working hard. Good, if you wanna pick up the pace, go as fast as you wanna go. Last 10, all in, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody grab a sip of water, take a pause, we've got Two more exercises with our armbands on, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Let's take a big sip. All right, so we always do some variation of plank. It's just a fantastic way to work our arms and our core. So today, we have two planks. The first one, we're doing one minute of each. If you need pauses, take pauses, otherwise, Try and work through it to your best. The first one, shoulder tap, T-spine rotation. So I tap my shoulder, tap, tap, roll onto the edges of my feet, lift an arm. Tap, tap, roll and lift, okay? So my feet are about hips distance apart behind me and I'm rolling onto the sides as I roll up, okay? We have one minute of that. We're gonna take a quick pause. Then we're gonna go to forearm plank, lateral arm raises. So I'm in a forearm plank, my body doesn't move, my arm goes up, up, side, to side, okay? So giving the wrist a little break after that first plank. So first plank, I'll start us off together, one whole minute, do your best, I know we can, okay? We're gonna start in three, two, one. So we have shoulder taps, tap, tap, Rotate, tap, tap, rotate. That's the step. And because our feet are staying rooted into the floor, when we rotate that top arm up, we get to work into the spine, which is always a good thing. And it can be slow. You can tap your knees down. It doesn't have to be fast. I'd like it to be precise. So when you're doing those taps, you're keeping your body from moving it stable, and then you're moving only on the rotation. We already have 20 seconds left, that's it. Go ahead, do your best. See where you can find traction by pulling your heels back and the top of your head forward as you do the exercise. Last 10. We're gonna drop the knees and rest in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, drop the knees. Give the wrist a roll. We got one more minute of plank. It's just that kind of day. Any variation of plank we do, you can always do it on your knees. Let's make our way down onto our forearms for this one. My body does not move. I lift, 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 side to side, okay? You've got wings, you're picking them up one at a time. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Go for it, one minute. Then we're gonna take the bands off. Woo! Uh-huh, see how high you can get that arm without letting your hips move. So we're getting into the shoulder joint as well. Kind of like what we did at the beginning of class when we were moving our arms in funky ways. Yeah, that's it. 
Nice, Jessica. Good. All right, John, you got it, Chris. Woo. Mm-hmm. Cassiopeia, I love it. Last 20 seconds. Go, Kayleen, go. Keep that body stable. All right, Kelly, go, Lily. Making sure we're breathing as we do it. You've got it, Justin. Last 10. We're gonna drop our knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Roll the shoulders out. Come on up. That was like two minutes of plank. That was great. All right, let's take sips of water and switch out our bands. Feel free to unmute, ask any questions. On Friday, we had the big question of the day, which is if you had to choose one and only one option for the end all be all of all desserts forever, chocolate or vanilla, and by a very slim margin, vanilla was our choice, Today, the question of the day is, if you could jump on a plane and go absolutely anywhere, where would you go? It's not a competition. I'm just curious. Feel free to unmute. Give us a shout in the comments. You guys wouldn't go anywhere? <laughs> Italy. Italy. Italy, I like it. And assuming there was no Corona, like everywhere was safe. I got Mexico, we've got Italy. Cool, we're going international. What else? New Zealand. New Zealand, awesome. Steve says Tahiti, Seychelles, Bahamas. Everyone's like, I'm getting out of America. Greece, these are great. Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> no one's like, I'd go to California. <laughs> We're like, I'm getting out. <laughs> cool, what else we got? Southern France, cool. We got a solid lineup of places to go. All right. I think I'm on the, the France-Switzerland train. There is a, uh, a really cool hike that's about 10 days called the Tour de Mont Blanc and you hike through France, Italy, and Switzerland. And uh, that's what I do, because apparently I work out even when I'm on vacation. So once we get those leg bands on, everyone grab a sip of water. Come on up to stand. Let's hike our outer edges of our tubing up towards the hip bones. And let's start taking hands on hips, bending into alternate knees, getting a stretch. Start your cycle. I'm gonna angle this down just a little bit so you can see my feet better. There we go. And the best part is, about everywhere that we mentioned we wanna travel, is you can take your bands. All right. So. Smaller muscles to bigger muscles. We're starting with our calves. And today is a very special day because two things we do today are gonna be for our calves. The first one is calves and quads, and the second one is calves, glutes, and quads. So, first one, it is a heel raise to sit. So if you want a little help with your balance, you can grab onto a chair or wall. Otherwise, I'm gonna lift my heels off the floor, keep them up, Drop your butt towards your heels and rise on up. And you can try and keep your heels lifted the whole time. If you need a little break, just break it up by dropping your heels down. Otherwise, two rounds, 40 seconds each. Let's start together in three, two, heels off the floor. Good, now start to lower your butt down as low as you can go and rise back up. And I want you to do this without letting your heels move. And if they're gonna move, pick them up even higher. That's it, challenge balance, get low. And rise on up, nice. And I don't care if your butt touches your heels, even if it's a baby bend, work through it. Things are shaking, they're moving, our calves are doing the work. Woo, we have five, four, three, two. Everyone come up to stand, keep your heels off the floor, pedal it out, drop alternating heel. 
All right, second set. Feet are hips distance. I lift my heels up. And then this time, option to work the arms as well. As I drop my butt down, I raise my arms up. And I rise. Keep going. Challenging the balance in many ways when we do this. <laughs> Just saw San Juan Island. Nice. <laughs> cool. Some days we'll have a this versus that. Some days will just be a random question. Last 10. We're going to work into it in five, four, three, two. Heels stay up. Drop your bottom down. Pulse your butt up and down. We have 10, 9, 8. Higher heels. 7. There we go. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rise up slowly. Drop it down. Shake it out. Okay. Heart rate boost. Three moves, happy feet to pause. We have three, two, one, let's go. Good. Get that knee up. Get those arms moving. Woo! Last 10, then we're going into squat touch, which I think is the hardest one. In five, four, three, two, squat touch to jump. Ready and go. Woo, and when I get down to that squat, I really feel the pressure in my bands, and I love it. Making sure our chest stays up, we're not getting slouchy. There we go, yes, half done. Last 10, and we're going into ice skaters. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ice skaters side to side. Time's going. Woo wee. Half done. Option to pick up the pace if you want. Last 10, let's move. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, let's take what we just did and we build on it. So our muscles are used to that feeling of having the heels up and we're used to doing squats. So it's a forward reach, side reach, squat, heel lift. What the heck does that mean? I step into a squat position, right? My feet are slightly wider than the hips, my toes are angled out. I come down into squat, reach my arms forward, my heels come up. Come down into squat, reach my arms out to the side, my heels come up. So each time I rise, my heels are on the floor and my arms are reaching out or they're reaching forwards. Okay? So similar to what we were just doing, just in more of a squat position. So, let's set ourselves up. Step the feet a little bit wider. My weight is in my heel. If you guessed that, you're right. First step, 40 seconds. Let's go. Drop down into it. Reach forward, heels up. Reach up. Come down. And up. And if you want to go fast, by all means, go fast. I just want to invest it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Coming all the way up one of those toes as you rest. Woo! Half done. There we go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Legs should be feeling those. Every part of your leg is working from your heel up. All right, second set, same thing. I encourage you not to jump. We wanna work on instead how low we can go into that squat without lifting our heels off the floor when we come down. So once I come down into it, I want your heels to stay rooted. You only come off your heels when your legs are straight at the top. Otherwise, you just 
contracting our calves instead of really working our quads and our glutes. So second set, we have three, two, one, let's go. Come down, now we rise. We come down, and Steve, it sounds like a couple people may or may not be on mute if you don't mind giving that yeah. a check. <laughs> cool. All right. As much as I love hearing you guys breathe, it gets a little distracting. <laughs> nice job, Instagram. Keep going. Cool. Ooh, I'm seeing everyone's heels come up. I like it. All right, 15 more seconds. Making sure you keep your chest up. We don't want to round out the spine. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Second round of heart rate boost. 30 seconds, happy feet and pause. After this, we take a water break. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, up. 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 There. Yeah. Arms are moving, legs are moving, we're pausing for balance, we're using our core for stability. Light on the feet, half done. Last 10, all out. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squat, touch, and go. Down, up, down, up. Jumps are always optional. If you don't do the jump, you can do alternating leg lift. Woo, my butt's starting to feel it. Last 10. Let me see you move. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ice cage or lunges, and go. Side to side. Doesn't matter if your hand touches the floor. More emphasis on moving those legs nice and fast. Woo, we get water after this, half done. Get a little bit lower now. Yes, last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and walk it out. Grab your water, sip it out. Maybe shake it out. Woo. Back at it. Okay. All right. Next move, single leg lunge jumps. The jump is always optional and we're practicing our balance because we're moving into something bigger after this. So. I take the lunge and I go up, back, up, back, up. So, single leg, lunge, jump, lunge, jump. Totally fine to lunge, kick, lunge, kick. That jump is just a little extra spice. We're starting with the right leg and the right leg only. We have three, two, one, and go. 40 seconds. Back, up, back, up. Get those arms going too for balance. And that left leg is really gonna be starting to feel this. And as you do it, I want you to try and bend into the back knee as well. So you're not hinging at the hips. You're keeping the spine straight and you're moving into it. So I don't wanna see you come forward with your chest. Keep that spine upright, nice. There we go, looks good. All right, last 10. I see a little bit of shaking and I like it, that's what we want, we're working through it. We're gonna go right into the left leg in four, three, two, one, left leg. We go back, jump, back, jump, let's go. Woo. <laughs> seen about 50% of people jumping. Everyone else is like, I'm going to take this a little slower, which is good. We always want to do what is best for our bodies on any given day, and sometimes that changes. Last 20 seconds, and then we're going to take a rest. Good balance. Nice bunny. Good. 
Awesome, Gwen. John is flying. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. So lunge your left foot forward. And go ahead and drop your back heel down, straighten the left leg, hands across the chest, we hinge forward and up. Taking a little pause and hamstring stretch before we do our second set. And ideally, both heels are plugged into the floor and we're pulling our mat in opposite directions with our feet. And I'm sorry if it's a little funky to hear me today. My headphones are taking a nap and I didn't want to get up. All right. Let's rotate both feet over to the right, other side. Good, hinging into it, nice straight spine. Three more. And we come up. Now, step the feet together, second set. I made the note in the beginning of the work that we wanna make sure our chest stays up, we're not coming forward at any point. And I saw a few people who were slouching correct themselves. So no need to name any names. Everyone's form was looking great by the end of that. So starting with the right leg, whatever variation you were taking, whether you were taking the jump or whether you're taking the, just the pause, that's fine. 40 seconds, right leg, ready, set, go. And whichever one you're doing, I want to see the arms working as well. <laughs> Good. Nice job, Instagram. Come on, swimmers. Let me see a little jump in there. We can do it. There we go. Kayleen is on fire. All right. Last 10. Then we're going to go right into the left leg. Some folks have their arms out. That's awesome. Good for balance. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it up into the left leg. Last set, ready and go. Woo a sweaty Monday session. After this, we're gonna take a pause, take a sip of water, and then we're gearing up for one of our last leg exercises before we work into balance. So knowing that we're coming near the end of the super hard stuff, 20 more seconds, keep moving, whatever movement looks like to you. you guys are doing so great. Come on, come on, come on, keep going. There we go. Good, last six, five, come on, four, three, two, and one. Woo, grab your water. Take a sip. Okay. Everyone take a gaze at your screen for a moment. Now, in my opinion, this is the most challenging exercise that we have done together to date. And what that means is that I'm watching all of you and we're ready, all of us, to give it a try. So, Again, your variation is your variation of this. I do not ever expect anyone's to look exactly the same. So we're gonna work into it. There are ways to modify, and we're all gonna try it together. If we don't keep pushing ourselves, we don't go stronger. So that's my like selling pitch. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So it's a pistol squat to skater squat. Work with me here. My right foot roots into the floor. I kick my left leg forward. I drop down into what's called a pistol squat. I get as low as I can. I come up, then I come back, drop that left knee down to the floor. So if you want a wall or a chair, by all means, take that. And even if your movement looks like this to this, it can be really small. In an ideal world, and I'm gonna try and demonstrate this. Let's see if I can do it. I might fall on my butt and that's fine. We can do something like this. So I go all the way down and I come, whoop, looking at the screen, all the way back. Okay? Do your best. Okay? So we're gonna start, weight is in the right foot, we kick the left leg forward. We're gonna take the first one together. We drop our butt down as low as we can and then come up and drop the left knee down as low as you can and come back up. And that left leg is just working. Okay? Going in three, two, one, go for it. 
it can be funky. And even if it just means that you pick that left foot off the floor and you bend ever so slightly, and then you bend ever so slightly again, that's fine. That right leg is doing a lot of work regardless. And a lot of this stability can come from your core and your glutes. So activate those parts of the body to help you find stability. No shame in hanging on to something. Yes. Last 10 seconds. These are meant to go at snail's pace. We're controlling our bodies. Good job. Yeah, Jeff. We have five, four, three, two, and one. I see a lot of wobbly people, and that's me too. Good. Now, something you might notice as you do this is that as you come down, this thigh cramps like crazy. Completely normal. This, these muscles are working like heck to try and keep that leg up. So if you're experiencing that, normal stuff, you can always take a quad stretch. Okay? Let's go for the other side. So go ahead and shift your weight into the left foot. Lift your right foot off the floor. We're going to go in three, two, one. We bend into that leg. Get as low as you can. Rise up. Drop the back knee down. Rise up. Good. You guys are trying. Awesome. Nice, Gabe. Woo! Be patient. Go for quality over quantity because we're doing time and not reps. So that gives you the opportunity to move slowly. Last 10 seconds. See if you can maybe do one more of your deepest version yet. We have six, five. Awesome, Diane. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Let's take a quick quad stretch. Grab one ankle. Pull your knees together and then back. And let's switch sides. Grab the other ankle. And we worked our way up today to doing things on one leg. So we did our single leg lunge jumps, right? We came back and up, that was one leg. We did our pistol squat, that was one leg. And so the last little bit of work we're gonna do today before we do our core is balance. So if you have a book or something that you can grab onto, I want you to grab it now. And actually, I want everyone to grab something. So whether it's a shoe, a book, I don't care what it is, we're gonna use this item for our core as well. So I'm gonna grab a shoe. And I, I keep my shoes fairly clean, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna put my shoe on my head. So put whatever you've got on your head and start to take your hands onto your hips. Kind of hard to balance a shoe. Shoe's not really balanced itself. There we go. Hands to hips, and we're gonna practice balance. So rooting all of the weight into your left foot, start to pick the right leg off the floor. Good, and set it down. Now let's do that three more times. Mm -hmm. It can be a book, it can be a shoe, it can be a water bottle, a pillow. Good. Now let's pull that right knee into the chest and hold it. Now let's start to work the arms as well. Arms come out, arms come down. Arms come out, arms come down. Now let's play. Arms come out, knee opens and closes. Opens and closes. It's a practice. You can always grab onto a wall. You can always pause at any of our different stages. So we work into it. If you need to pause at one stage and hold it, that's why there's different levels. Got two more. Woo, last one. Now, final thing. Option to extend the leg out to the side. Pull the heel in. Three more. Out and in. Last two. And one. Set everything down. Hands back to the hips. Let's work into the other side. So this time, left leg up and down. Three more. And if doing this is challenging on the balance, this is what you want to practice the whole time. And you will get it eventually. Everyone does. Last two. And one. Now hold that leg up. Arms come out and down. And 
up and down. And as you're doing this, remember you have four corners of your feet. So pressing into the ball, pressing into the heel, but also pressing into those corners of the feet as well. Pinky toe, big toe, everything to create more mass to stand on. Last two. And one. Good. Open that knee up. And close it. Open it up. And close it. Three more. Then we have our last thing. And two. Last one. Option. Kick the leg out. And in. Four more. Three. Press into the right leg. Keep growing taller. Two. And one. Set everything down. Grab your shoe, your book, whatever you've got, and make your way down into your mat or floor space for some core. That was really great. I hope everyone is just noticing and appreciating their own work because your balance looks, is really fantastic. We're all getting better together. So for core, we're going to continue to use that item. The first thing we're going to do, I call shoe to shins or book to shins, depending on what you're working with. So I take my legs into a tabletop position. I place whatever I've got on my shins. My arms come out. I extend out, then I pull in, grab it, out, set it down. Out and grab, you've got the idea. So we've got 30 seconds of that. Then we're gonna take our item between our feet. I lean back and I start to draw circles one direction for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go the other direction for 30 seconds. And then we're good. We're going to stretch. So, shoe to shins to start. So, let's set up together. Take your shoe or whatever you've got onto your shins. Good. Extend the legs out, arms out. Time is going. Pull it in. Grab your item. Extend out. Set it down. Yeah. There we go. And if you don't have an item, that's fine. Pretend you do. You can still do the movement. Out. And in. Good. Half done. A lot of full body control. Core is working. And as you extend your arms out, I'd like you to keep them as straight as you can, pulling them alongside your ears. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Take those legs straight. Remove what you've got. Pop it between your ankles. Give it a nice squeeze. And then lean back with the arms out by your sides. Okay? And however high up you sit, so the closer you are towards straight, the harder this is going to be. So I'm going to take a baby lean. I lift my feet off the floor. And 30 seconds, circle it around to the left. Now, the more you round out your back, that's cheating. Try and keep your back straight. Get those legs all the way up, all the way down. As you circle it around with control, and if your core isn't shaking, I know you can do bigger circles or sit up straighter. Yeah. Awesome. Keep going, keep going. Squeeze whatever you've got so the inner thighs can help you do the work here too. Good. We're losing some items. Last 10 seconds, and we're gonna go the other way. We have five, four, Three, two, right into it, other way to the right, down and around. Woo wee. Doesn't have to be fast, it does have to be good. Yes, keep squeezing whatever you got. Kick your legs up as high as you can. Half done. Last 10 seconds. And then we're going to drop everything and take a stretch. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your shoe or your item. Toss it over to one side. Take your hands to your thighs. Think straight spine. Hinging at the hips. Come forward. Walk your fingers down. Don't round out your spine yet. Keep dropping lower and lower into it. Using your legs to help you pull you deeper. Belly button towards thighs. Good. Now, reach your arms back behind you. Keep pulling deeper. Deeper. No rounding up. Mm -hmm. Good. Flex those feet. Pull your toes in towards your nose. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, bring your arms around, let everything hang. This time letting our forehead fall down towards our legs. And taking three deep breaths. And each time you exhale, I want you to see if you can pull your forehead a little bit closer towards your legs. So we can use our breath to help us stretch and help our bodies open up. And after your next breath, slowly, very slowly roll up to sit. And then take the soles of your feet together, butterfly stretch. Give the knees a wiggle. And we're gonna do the same kind of stretch we did for our hamstrings. So start to hinge into it. And I can't hinge very far, you know? Maybe you just go from this to this, or maybe you can't even sit like this and you go from this to this, that's fine. So finding some semblance of a straight spine. And I'm gripping my ankles to help me. Good. Now, same thing, wherever you are, take your hands behind your head, keep dropping into it, pulling your elbows back. We have 10, nine, straight spine, eight, seven, six, it's hard, five, four, three, two, let everything go, let it hang. Take those same three breaths, let forehead fall towards feet. And as slowly as you can, start to roll yourself back up to sit. Give your knees a wiggle. Reach your arms up. Clasp the hands. Press the base of them up towards the ceiling. Big shoulder stretch. Maybe look up. Press even higher. And release them. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. Pistol squat to skater squat. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow, same time, same place. If you have recommendations for body parts or types of workouts, please send them my way. Good job, everyone. Awesome, Laurel. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Laurel. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Uh, Gator. Great job, Gator. <laughs>